Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So today we are going to resume our discussion on uh, signals and systems and uh, we will continue our discussion uh, from where we left it which is signal operations and uh, if you check the signals and systems playlist uh, I have discussed various kinds of individual signal operations such as uh, time shifting, uh, delayed and advance, amplitude scaling, scaling up and down, uh, time scaling, both scaling up and down and various other signal operations on an individual, okay, one operation at a time. But there are situations in which multiple signal operations or combined signal operations have to be performed on one signal at a time. You will see uh, expressions like that. So in the next series of videos, we will be discussing about combined signal operations. Okay. So combined signal operations we will discuss. So we will discuss some questions related to that. Okay. So it is combined signal operations. Okay, so let us uh, take some simple examples on combined signal operations and then we will uh, go to more complicated advanced operations. Okay, so let us perform a combined signal operation. Let's say this. <coughs> Sorry. So this is a combined signal operation. How it is a combined signal operation? It involves two signal operations which are performed on this signal. First, the original signal is XT. That XT is subjected to time shifting. Okay, this is time shifting. So we'll start with simple and then we'll move to uh, complicated things. Then this time shifted signal is subjected to amplitude scaling. It's multiplied with 2. So this is amplitude scaling. Okay. So let us say this uh, signal which we are going to uh, deal with let's say it is like this a simple signal will take okay this is xt zero this is t let's say uh, the signal is like this this is one this is two this is three let's say the signal is like this a simple signal okay amplitude is one this is the original signal we have to get this final signal okay so first operation which we have to perform is time shifting xt to xt minus 3 now in time shifting i have already discussed that whenever you see this minus sign it means that the signal will shift to the right by the amount of the number value which is mentioned minus sign means shifting to the right okay minus sign means shifting to the right side okay and the number here 3 it means by 3 units so this signal will be shifted to the right by 3 units so the shifted signal will be something like this 
okay so it will be is x t minus 3 okay this is t this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so on both the ends of the signal where the signal starts and where it ends just add 3 so 1 plus 3 here will be 4 3 plus 3 here will be 6 so the combined signal will be the the sorry the time shifted signal it will be from four to six okay this one this is the time shifted signal okay this is the time shifting operation the first operation which is performed next we have amplitude scaling which converts x t minus 3 to 2 x t minus 3 so here we have performed time shifting okay we have got this signal now we'll perform amplitude scaling so here it is 2 x t minus 3 it means the amplitude it will get multiplied by 2 in this time shifted signal simply will multiply the amplitude by 2 nothing will change in the time axis so amplitude scaling so here nothing will change in the time axis zero this is 2x t minus 3 this is time this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 and this is 1 this is 2 so it will be simply this okay amplitude got multiplied by 2 it got doubled so this is the amplitude scaled signal so this is a very simple combined signal operation so we'll gradually move into more complicated complex expressions which will involve three four five even six signal operations more than that even so we'll go sim by solving simple expressions then we'll go into more complicated expressions so before uh, the individual signal operations videos which we have discussed there we focused on one signal operation only time shifting only time scaling only amplitude scaling only amplitude inversion so here we'll try to do it in a combined way where three or four signal operations or more than that will do at one time okay So this is the second uh, question which will take on combined signal operations. So here the operation which will perform is yt is equal to 1 by 2 x t plus 1. So again here this operation it involves this combined signal operation it involves uh, two operations that are performed here. So first this signal xt okay we have to perform the time shifting operation to get xt plus 1 okay this is time shifting and then xt plus 1 we have to perform amplitude scaling scaling down actually to get 1 by 2 xt plus 1 okay amplitude scaling 
down. So two operations on this signal xt. Okay, so let us do. So first is time shifting. So again, as I have already discussed in the previous videos, the individual operations which we performed, when you see time shifting in time shifting whenever you see xt plus 1 so here plus means okay plus means the shifting will happen to the left and here it is 1 so that means by 1 unit so here this shifting will happen like this okay this is x t plus 1 this is here t this is 0 this is minus 1 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 so here it is uh, 1 here it is 2 so the shifting will happen by 1 unit to the left so it will be like this this xt plus 1 this is xt plus 1 shifting by 1 unit to the left so simple way to understand it on the two ends that you find here 0 and 2 you subtract 1 0 minus 1 is minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 so 2 end okay so this is the time shifting operation this is the time shifting operation then we have to perform amplitude scaling so here 1 by 2 xt plus 1 it means we have to multiply the amplitude value of this time shifted signal with 1 by 2 scaling it down so that will be like this Here's 0 this is 1 by 2 x t plus 1 this is t so it is 1 this is 2 this is minus 1 this is 1 this is 2 like that so here we'll scale it down so it will be simply from here to here okay the initial amplitude original amplitude in this signal was 2 when we scaled it down by a factor of 1 by 2 we got 1 so simply multiply the peak amplitude with the factor by which it has to be scaled up or scaled down so it is 1 by 2 so you multiply it with 1 by 2 and we got 1 ok so this is the uh, second combined signal operation a simple operation which involved only two uh, signal operations in it time shifting and amplitude scaling